roads around here are in terrible shape. It wrecks your car and it limits your speed. It's almost enough to make you pay your taxes. But rather than do something I know I'll regret later, I've been trying to find a way to smooth out the ride. Now this one worked great the odd time the helmet actually lined up with the pothole. Other than that, it felt like you were walking with one high-heeled shoe on. Not that I've done that. Now this one wasn't totally successful because I forgot that Bernice is allergic to feathers. I even tried filling up the potholes. Everybody at Bernice's work gets one of these totally uneatable Christmas cakes every year for the last 35 years, so we got a fair whack of them. And if you flip them over, they're the same size and shape as a pothole. <laughs> the trouble is, after 35 years, the Christmas cakes are in about the same condition as the road. <laughs> but then in today's paper, something caught my eye, right about there. <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I was looking through the personals to see if any of my old girlfriends would come to their senses when I saw some guys trying to unload an above-ground pool. And I'm thinking, hey, that could be just a ticket. Now, I don't have any money to give them, but maybe we can work out a trade of some kind. We'll see. Okay, that was a mistake. I should have emptied it first. The only thing I need from the pool is the side. I'm cutting it in half so I get two wide rings of sheet metal. It's light, it's durable, and it's smooth. A lot smoother than the roads around here. But I'm not going to be driving on the roads anymore. I'm going to be driving on these babies. Maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I'm just trying to keep up with you guys. Of course, taking the handles off the lawnmowers means I can't cut the grass, so it's a win-win. <laughs> the idea here is to put something between your tires and the road. Something that'll smooth out the bumps. Kind of like what your wife does between you and the neighbors. Funny how slipping a ring on can change your life forever. <laughs> Now I'll just glide over the potholes. And here's another bonus. Real easy to find this car in the parking lot. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. And if the cops pull you over and ask you what the heck it is, tell them it's a carpool. <laughs> Well, you know how some people can't leave well enough alone? Well, that's the case here. They found some new way of watching the Red Green Show. The expression flogging a dead horse also comes to mind. Anyway, there's some link somewhere. They're going to put it on the screen probably right over my face if I know these guys. And you follow that and all the instructions and everything there. But apparently they, have, they schedule and they watch shows or they put a bunch of handyman corners together or they, who knows what they're going to do. But it's interactive, which means you actually get to interact which of course i was never interested in doing but uh, we got somebody who is uh, check it out uh, if you don't enjoy it don't call me